Perhaps many of you watching this video haven't given much thought to being in Japan when you are elderly. But whatever your long-term plans, all residents of Japan between the ages of 20 and 59 must enroll in the national pension system, regardless of whether or not they're working here. Japan's national pension system comes in two types. National pension, which is for people who are self-employed or who are not working. Inquire about this at your local municipal office. The other type is employee's pension, which is for people who are working for companies. Premiums vary according to your salary. Direct your inquiries about this to the person in charge at your place of work. If you eventually decide to leave Japan, you may qualify to have some of your pension payments returned to you via lump sum withdrawals. In order to qualify for the pension lump sum withdrawals, there are two basic conditions that need to be met. One is that you must have made pension payments in Japan for at least six months. The other is that you need to undertake the procedures to request these lump sum withdrawals within two years after leaving Japan. However long you intend to stay in Japan, it's important to keep up to date with your pension situation. Except, of course, if you're here as a tourist. You can find more information about Japan's national pension system over at the Japan Pension Service website. Or you can visit your local municipal office, or speak to the person in charge of such matters at your place of work. For more information about Japan's national pension system, as well as about life in the city in general, head over to Life in Tokyo, your guide. Life in Tokyo, your guide is a booklet listing basic information for those studying a life in Tokyo. You can pick it up from city offices and local international associations, or download it from the Life in Tokyo website.